Right. So today we're going to be diving into CPA marketing. Okay. You know, like all those online ads that yeah. say, you can make a fortune. Right. Just clicking a few buttons. Yeah. We're going to figure out, is there any truth to that or is it all just BS? Yeah. It's a really interesting area, I think, because it's right where online marketing and technology and honestly, like ethics kind of all meet. Yeah, for sure. And to help us figure all this out, we've got two really interesting things to look at. Okay. First, we've got this website called Macro Hustle. Okay. And they're all about teaching people how to make money mm -hmm. through CPA marketing. Mm -hmm. But their promises are <sighs> a lot. <laughs> Macro Hustle definitely goes big on the whole financial freedom thing. Like yeah. they've got all these testimonials with people saying they're making thousands of dollars a day. Yeah. Which... You've <laughs> always got to be a little skeptical of. Uh, totally. Like, like yeah. come on, who really makes... $595.34 every day. Right. Like that's so specific. It is really specific. Yeah. And it just shows you like one of the things marketers do online is they use these really specific numbers yeah. to try and make people want to get rich quick. Right. Okay. But before we get too into the details, yeah. let's back up a bit. Sure. For anyone who doesn't really know what CPA marketing is, hmm. can you give us like a quick breakdown? Sure. So CPA stands for cost per action. Okay. And it's basically a way businesses advertise online where yeah. they pay people like you and me for getting people to do specific things on their websites. Okay. So it's not just about clicks or views or whatever. Gotcha. You get paid when someone actually does something specific. Like uh, signing up for a free trial or downloading an app. Exactly. It could be things like filling out a form, oh. buying something. Yeah. It's really anything the advertiser thinks is important. Okay. That makes sense. So how does this self-clicking thing work? Right. Because that's what Macro Hustle is hinting at. Okay. And we've also got this pasted text that looks like some sort of tutorial on how to do it. I see. So how does all this fit in? Well, self-clicking is pretty much what it sounds like. Okay. You're clicking on your own CPA links to try and get those commissions. But isn't that against the rules? Yeah. That sounds like cheating. It can be. And that's where we get into this whole ethics thing. Okay. Most CPA networks have rules that say you can't do self-clicking. Right. Because it goes against the point of legitimate affiliate marketing. Which is connecting businesses with real customers. Right. Who are actually interested in their products. Right. If you're clicking on your own ads, you're not bringing in any new business. Exactly. You're yeah. just trying to get money yeah. without really doing anything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's where things get a bit shady. Yeah, for sure. It's interesting because I get why people would try it. Yeah. Who doesn't want to make easy money, <laughs> right? Right. But at the same time, it messes up the whole idea of CPA marketing. Yeah. And it can hurt other people who are trying to do it the right way. Right. So this pasted text we've got. Yeah. It seems like it might be showing people how to do this whole self-clicking thing. Okay. And one of the things it mentions is using AI. Right. Like chat GPT. Yeah. To do it. Interesting. So AI for clicking on ads. How does that even work? Well, it's not really about using AI to actually click on the ads. Okay. It's more like using it for other parts of the process. Right. So this pasted text mentions this website. Mm. It's a Q&A site okay. called blot8.com. Okay. And the idea is you use chat GPT to come up with answers right. to questions in like a specific niche. Gotcha. And then you sneak in your CPA links in the answers. Oh, so you're using chat GPT to make content. Yeah. That will hopefully get people to click on your offers. Exactly. It's a way to make a ton of content yeah. without having to write it all yourself. Right. And because ChatGPT is pretty good at sounding human, yeah. it might be hard for people to even realize it's AI generated. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. But even if they're using AI to write this stuff, wouldn't it still be self-clicking if they're the ones clicking on their own links? That's a good question. And it's kind of a gray area but because they this pasted text doesn't actually say if they're clicking the links themselves right. or trying to get other people to do it. Yeah. But it does show how people are always trying to find new ways to make these methods work right. and how technology is changing things. Totally. It's like a game of cat and mouse. Yeah, exactly. With people yeah. trying to stay one step ahead of the platforms. Absolutely. And I think it just reminds us that even though CPA marketing can be legit, yeah. There's always going to be people trying to cheat the system. For sure. Which brings us back to Macro Hustle. Okay. They've got this whole course on CPA marketing. Right. So I'm curious. Yeah. What are they actually teaching people? I see. Are they showing people how to do it the shady way? Right. Or are they sticking to the legit stuff? Yeah, that's the million dollar question. Right. 
And honestly, it's hard to say for sure without signing up for the course. Okay. But there are a few things that make me wonder. Like what? Well, first of all, they really push this idea of making a lot of money quickly and easily. Yeah. Like, remember that $595.34 every day? Right. That's a classic marketing trick yeah. to make people think they can get rich quick. Exactly. Yeah. Like, who wants to work hard when you just click a few buttons and get rich, right? Exactly. And then there are the testimonials. Right. Now, some of them could be real. Sure. But it's always a good idea to be a little skeptical. Yeah. You got to ask yourself. Are these real people? Yeah. Are their results typical? It's always good to be cautious. It's like anything else online, right? Exactly. You can't just believe everything you read. You got to do your research. Exactly. Especially with online marketing. Yeah. There's well, a lot of misinformation out there. For sure. So let's say someone's listening to this. Okay. And they're thinking about trying CPA marketing. Yeah. What advice would you give them? I'd say the most important thing is to focus on the ethical side of things. Okay. Build a real business yeah. that actually helps people. Right. Don't just look for shortcuts or try to cheat the system. Right. That's good advice for any business, really. For sure. But for CPA marketing specifically, yeah. I'd say a few things are really important. Okay. First, choose good CPA networks. Okay. Do your research. Make sure they have a good reputation and clear rules. Gotcha. Second, focus on quality over quantity. Yeah. Don't just promote every offer you see. Yeah. Find a few good products or services that you actually believe in. Right. And third, be honest with your audience. Okay. Don't try to hide the fact that you're an affiliate marketer. Right. Be upfront about it. Yeah. And focus on giving people real value. Those are all great tips. But what about this whole thing with AI? Right. Like using ChatGPT for CPA marketing. Yeah. Is that something people should try? It's definitely a tricky one. Yeah. On the one hand, AI can be a really powerful tool. Yeah. It can help you automate stuff and create content faster. Right. But you need to use it ethically. Yeah. So no using it to write fake reviews exactly. or spammy content. Yeah. Right. Use it to make your marketing better. Gotcha. Not to trick people. Okay. So we've talked about the downsides of CPA marketing yeah. and how important it is to be ethical. Mm -hmm. But let's look at the other side. Okay. What are some of the good things about it? Sure. Why do so many people get into this type of marketing? Well, one reason is that it can make you a lot of money. Right. If you can get people to buy stuff through your links, yeah. you can earn a really good living. Okay. And because you only get paid when you get results, right. it's a lot more measurable than traditional advertising. Right. With traditional advertising, you might spend a lot of money. Exactly. And not even know if it's working. Yeah, with CTA marketing, you can see what's working right. and what's not. That makes sense. Yeah. And what about the flexibility? Yeah. A lot of people like online businesses because they give you more freedom. That's definitely a big plus. Yeah. With CPA marketing, you can work from anywhere. Right. Set your own hours. Yeah. Be your own boss. It sounds pretty good. It does, but like we said before, yeah. you got to be careful right. and know what you're getting into. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. Exactly. So we've talked about a Go. lot, the basics of CPA marketing, mm -hmm. the ethical stuff, right. the good things about it, yeah. and why it's important to be cautious. Absolutely. But there's one big question we haven't really answered yet. So is self-clicking actually a thing? Right. Can you really make money online just by clicking on your own ads? That's the big question, right? Yeah. And honestly... It's tough to say for sure. Like technically, yeah, there are ways to do it. Right. You can use bots or even AI, like we were talking about, to automate some of the clicks and stuff. Right, like that chat GPT thing for blot8.com. Exactly. But the real question is, will it last? Okay. And is it even worth it? Right. Because these CPA networks are always updating their systems. Yeah trying to catch people who are cheating right so even if you find a way to make it work for a little bit yeah you'll probably get caught eventually okay and that can be a really big problem like what happens if you get caught self-clicking well they'll probably shut down your account for sure okay. yeah. and you'll lose any money you made right but depending on how bad it is yeah. and the network's rules yeah you might even get in legal trouble whoa okay so it's not worth the risk for a little bit of money exactly oh uh, and most people who do CPA marketing the right way will tell you yeah. that self-clicking is a waste of time. Yeah. It's way better to build a real business right. based on trust and giving people real value. 
So if someone wants to make money with CPA marketing for real, yeah. what should they do? I'd say start by finding your audience. Okay. Make really good content yeah. that helps people in your niche. Like blog posts. Exactly. Yeah. Blog post videos. Right. Social media updates. Yeah. Anything that your audience will find useful. And then how do you connect that to the CPA offers? Once you've got a group of people who trust you, okay, you can start showing them CPA offers that fit with what they're interested in. Right. Make sure the offers are good. Yeah. And that they actually help your audience. Okay. Don't just promote random stuff. So it's about being smart and building relationships over time. Exactly. CPA marketing is like any other business. Right. It takes time and effort. Yeah. And you've got to have a long-term plan. There's no quick fix. No quick fix. But if you're willing to put in the work. Yeah. It can be a great way to make money online. That's a good point. Yeah. It's easy to get caught up in trying to make money fast. Right. But in the end, the best way to succeed is to work hard. Absolutely. Be honest. Yeah. And give people something worthwhile. I totally agree. And I think that's what this whole deep dive has shown us. Yeah. There will always be people trying to cheat the system. Always. But the people who win in the end right. are the ones who follow the rules and focus on building real businesses. So for anyone listening who wants to get into online marketing, okay. remember, do your research. For sure. Be careful. Yeah. And build something you're proud of. Great advice. Well, that's all for this deep dive. Okay. We hope you learned something new today. Yeah. And maybe even had your eyes opened a bit. Right. Remember, knowledge is power. Absolutely. Especially in the online world. It's always changing. That's right. Yep. So until next time, happy exploring.